The season is winding down at Ikar Farm in Denver, and the crew is getting ready for one of its final tasks before winter, pulling the plastic covering onto the farm's first ever hoop house. A little bit more. I'm Elon Salzberg. I'm the instigator, farmer, executive director for Ecar Farm. Ecar is five acre piece of dormant land uh, in the heart of Denver's Jewish community, uh, right next to Denver Academy of Torah, uh, Jewish day school, heart of the Aruv, where we're growing vegetables. Uh, our mission is learn, grow, sustain, enjoy, repeat. Uh, and we do all those things. This year we grew about 8,000 pounds of produce, uh, 6,500 pounds got donated to the Jewish Family Service Food Pantry. Uh, we did it with the school and with 36 different organizations and 1,200, over 1,200 volunteer groups. I think that's going to happen. Well, that's going to happen when you, you want to start singing. singing. There's a lot of energy. I mean, people are just, it's, uh, growing the stuff is an addictive and exciting thing. It's a very special way to, to connect to people. Same, different? No, no. different. It looks like a way different. different. What's yeah. different? It's, uh, no plants. Yeah. Yeah. no plants. What else is different? Having been a farmer and now doing it again, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic pursuit uh, where you end up connecting to time, to place, in a way you can't do it any other way. In addition to growing vegetables, Ikar is also the site of 50 garden plots that are rented out to members of the community for a small fee. And they come together and gather and meet and interact in ways that they never otherwise would. We've got Bhutanis uh, that are living on food stamps and the radishes they pull out of here. We've got millionaires that live in the houses, you know, kind of in front of me um, and everything in between. And so we end up creating that community. So on that sense, we're a gathering space. On the other side, we are a production farm. I mean, the goal is to grow into a you know, very highly productive, efficient farm. And that's fundamental to our mission. This we're not, we're out here to have a lot of fun and have volunteers do it, but we've succeeded if we're an effective farm, not just kind of a, a nice thing to do. We're showing that it's very viable to, for, for synagogues all over the city, all over the country to do this. As you drive around the Southwest, you'll see JCC after school after school that has just land in synagogues. And it, there's no reason why there shouldn't be a community garden on every single one of them. I mean, it's not that hard. And once you get it rolling, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that can do it. And it, it's happening all around the country in, in different ways and different, different methods. And we like being a very small part of that and uh, being loud about it so other people can hear it and say, oh yeah, I can put a tomato on the ground and I might get something back out. From Denver, this is Ben Harris reporting.